So, how's your uh, how's your beach day? Um, I mean, it was a day. It was fun, and then and then I uh, well, we kind of just turned into like a well, there's eight, nine, ten, fifteen, a lot of people, and then it went down south. The second um, Gigi sent us on a mission to go touch a shark. We, we got into yeah. pairs. I paired up with Murphy, and then we dove into the ocean, and then we kept going further and further out until we found what I thought was a shark. It wasn't. It was a piece of kelp, and I dove down for it, and then I never came up. You got stuck. Well, yeah, yeah. I think the kelp, oh, like, no. grabbed my leg or something. And then uh, we were down there for what felt like hours. Maybe it was hours. And then there was, like, whale sounds, really intense ones, and then kitty and... But oh. whales are friendly. They're not going to eat you. Yeah, right? honestly... They eat krill and shit. I actually think the whales saved us. They wouldn't stop making sounds. They're using echolocation and shit. Ooh, you know, and then... Um, and then... Mm -hmm. uh, Kitty found us and then got out of the water and then went to the hospital. They uh, got all the water out of our lungs and then and then I was like, oh shit, Timothy never came. And then and that's when I called you. I uh, Raymond also messaged me. What'd she say? Does she, she know? She missed me. We miss you, Timothy. Yeah, he said I didn't come to beach day and I kind of feel bad because Kitty was like, well, you're the one who basically planned it because I was the one who was like talking about having a beach day sometime so we should set one up and stuff like that. And like, yeah, I didn't even end up going to it. So I feel kind of like an asshole. So why didn't you go? The thing is, um, I've been trying to avoid someone. Oh, is it Max? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's, it's, it's Max. But why? <sighs> I won't tell him. the thing you're gonna get mad at me but i i don't know i'm not gonna get mad i promise i won't get mad um i don't really understand that well either but every time i don't know i've just felt more and more and more uncomfortable with him as time went on and i think it finally hit me when i came back from my trip was really? that okay yeah i don't know how what how to explain it but i there's this really bad feeling that's like churning up my insides that just tells me stay away from him what it's not good it's it's like i'm scared of him i don't know why to be clear it's just a feeling you have not not saying it's not, but like it's not because you heard something or because of something he did it's just like a feeling I, it's not just a feeling it's like i think it's everything he did like what I, i'm so confused we're talking about the same max maximilian angel yes max angel the one that lives with us yeah what what could he have done he's i'm just i'm shocked i just i i don't i don't know i, I mean I'm, I'm all years i just don't know what the heck max the thing is is uh he's max is such a nice guy right he's a nice guy mm -hmm. he's really sweet cares about us a lot Right? Right. And I, I don't know. Something about that just makes me want to stay away. Okay, so you're saying because he's such a nice guy, it's like he's too nice, in your opinion? Uh, it's more complicated than that, April. Well, then explain it to me. I That's what I'm trying to figure out right now. I don't want anyone to get hurt by this, and I, it's like I don't want to make it awkward, but it's already awkward. But Is this... I'm, do you have feelings? Does he have feelings? Is this romantic? No, oh it's God. not romantic at all. This oh, okay, is not okay. romantic. Absolutely not. Okay. Hmm. I, I don't know how to put it, but I'm trying to be patient and I'm this trying is so, to. What is he cooking? Away. What is he for cooking? A while. Like that's why I haven't been. Why I haven't been responding. That's why I haven't been texting him back. That's why I've been calling him back. Like, uh, I really just want to he, put myself at a distance so I can figure out why exactly it is I, I mean, feel the way that I feel and I think it has to do with the fact that I've dealt with something similar before oh and I'm trying to maybe it's like my brain is on runaway mode right now okay so he reminds you of someone else you've dealt with and it's like giving you the same situation vibe and so yeah you mind telling me about that I feel like I know what it is, but I just don't want to say it, say you know? It. And it's like, if I say it, then it just feels like it's incorrect. I don't know. He, thing is, uh, April, mm -hmm. I don't know if I told you before, but I fucking hate my dad. I hate my parents. I hate anybody that tries to be a parental figure to me. And I oh. really 
oh, want shit. to just oh. stay away from people that think that they can Daddy issues. be someone like that in my life. Oh. It really pisses me off, April. I've oh. never get that. But and the thing that messes with me is that he's so nice, and it's like this is. I don't want him to be my fucking dad, and it's just yeah. like uh, he seems that way, and it's just I, I don't know. Man. I get it. No, I get it. Oh, you can take that if you need. No. Well, I know exactly what you mean, and I know like the thing I, is, yeah. I understand. This is not a him problem. This is a me problem, and that's why I'm trying to stay away. Hmm. I get it. Um, I, I have something, I don't think it's nearly as similar, but I had a, he was, there was a, you know, when we left for, we were both gone out of the city for a while, I came back and found out that they had, uh, bought us the house and I didn't really know what it, like I had lightly agreed to it before leaving and then it came back and they're like, you owe $43,000 or something, yada, yada, yada. No, that too. Yeah. Like, as soon as I came back and that was also thrown on to us, yeah. like, I, I think there's a little bit of that too and mm. being in a house so suddenly with you guys when we've only known each other for like what not even a month like i was gone for a couple weeks and i feel like it, in total it's like three weeks <laughs> it was like so sudden the, the thing is um i don't mind a kitty I, I i kitty i like a lot yeah i really appreciate her oh my god um <laughs> you and raymond's i mean Despite you being gone for a while, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's just, I mean, I don't feel uncomfortable with you. Yeah. I don't feel uncomfortable with Raymond. Eli's another story. I did this, this dude's been, <laughs> he's something all right, but I yeah. think, um. It felt like we all just, it, it was like a light discussion and then boom. I think it, a lot of it came from that, that, that houses were just like on sale and people finally had the money and we had discussed it. But yeah, I came back to it and Max was, it was like, a, and I'm not blaming him, but he was the one in charge of everything, right? So he was collecting things and so that probably triggered something in you. Yeah. Um, but this is something maybe you, I think avoiding him, or may, maybe you can just explain it to him or uh, as have someone explain it to him that like it's not about I, I him. Just, it's about like you just, he, he, he's reminding you or, you know, and you have boundaries and you just don't want anyone to treat you like. I have dealt with my father before, right? right? And uh, he is someone that he acts a lot like Max, but then when he acts like that, it's to get something out of me or to make me do something that I don't want to do. And then he just flips like a switch. And that's when I get hurt the most. But this is Max. Mm, that fucking scares me, April. He's, that I don't think he's. So much. But it, I don't think Max is, you know coming at it from trying to get something out of us i think that's just he's just kind of a i know, you know he's a caring like, dude i'm this my i can't it's i get it fucking anxious and uh, yeah i just don't want to deal with it it's like everything's telling me it's hard for me to just say like he's not like him at all like it's mm -hmm. just you know what happened happened before and now it's not his fault but i can't I can't get over it, you know? No, I, I think that's fair. It's like, this, this shit takes time to heal. Yeah, I get it. I don't think you should be forced to get over it either. Um, so in your mind, what's the ideal, like, situation? Is it just, you're just gonna avoid him forever? Or do you want to I work it out? Mm. Cause, like, do you, you don't want to talk to him at all? Like, from his perspective, he just has no idea, you know? So it's kind of, he's just, like, worried. Um, but I think it would help him to know that it's not him, you know? Because I think he's thinking, like, what did I do wrong? Why Why is he potentially avoiding me or not getting back to me or avoiding my calls? And so I'm just, I just don't want him to think that he did something wrong. But I think it's fine yeah. that, you know, you feel the way that you do when you have yeah. that, you know? And that's okay. Hmm. The thing is, is uh, I don't, I don't hate him. He's a good guy. I know he's a good guy, right? I completely get that, but I'm just too worried. I think everything in my body is telling me to just get the fuck away when I know that Aww. I probably don't need to get away. I'm just scared of what could be. 
What are you the most scared of? Like, what what is the worst? I don't know if this helps, but like, what is the worst that Max in your mind could do? Monk. Uh, I don't know. Be like my, be like my old man, because he he does remind me a lot of him, a mm. lot. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe you just. I mean, I think it's fine then. I don't think you should be forced to talk to him or, or see him, but maybe you just let him know. Um, that it's not him i i literally am just i'm just worried about a situation where he's like tunneling because he thinks he did something and then we can't tell him what it is but it really and i know this is so personal to you so i don't also want you to feel forced to tell him but i do think because it involves him maybe he's just one person who can know i don't know and the thing is like i don't want this to fester right and yeah. i don't want it to Oh, get to a point where I feel like I have to just leave the house and stuff because I like you guys, right? I don't yeah. want to just leave. I don't want like you to that. leave either. Like, I mean, if it that's the worst case scenario to me is just leaving and I don't know. Don't leave! Still, we, I mean, we would still be friends, but I just wouldn't want to be in a place where I feel uncomfortable. I know. Somebody. I get it. Well, hmm. Who else knows? I told Kitty about it. What does Kitty think? Kitty... I think she understands. Like... And she knows that... Well, from what we were talking about... That... We needed to... I would need to talk to him at some point, but... Once I figured out everything... That's when I would talk to him, but... I mean... I wanna... I don't wanna just do say it when i don't have everything figured out right and say the wrong shit when did you think this or when was like the first time you had this thought what do you mean like when you realize you're uncomfortable with max has it been like you know festering for a long time or is this like you know when you got back i think it's been festering for a long time so i'm just wondering i mean like that's why i felt comfortable with him at first and that's why i was like oh this dude's really kind and like i don't mind talking to him and like he felt really awesome to have around right and i just thought like i could be i could feel safe but i think i'm not letting go of the past right now mm. I, I don't know i don't know what the right answer is i can't even figure that out and that's why i'm mad at myself so you don't want max to know like at all oh god no it's not I mean, do you think that's fair, though? Because think about it from his perspective. He's just going to be, like, in his head thinking he did something wrong. But I, I don't want to force you. I, it's more of just I'm thinking for his own sanity. Like, I, I don't think he's going to judge you at all for it. Not saying you have to tell him. And maybe telling him and talking to him is, like, going to trigger you. Or it might make it worse for you. But I could pass the message along if it's easier, or someone else could, or you could maybe text him, make him maybe write him an email or something, just saying like I don't feel comfortable right now. I'm working through some things, my own thoughts, but just know it's not you. Um, yeah. You didn't do anything. I just have some stuff I need to think through. Right. You know. I think it's it's I'm unfair, hungry. and I know I'm but being unfair to you guys i don't want anyone to like Steve. feel like it's awkward and shit it's but okay if it's awkward you know sometimes that is what it is sometimes it's not yeah. explainable sometimes with somebody they just they make you feel a type of way and it's not always yeah, it's sunshine like, and rainbows like i'm not trying to change anyone's <laughs> the thing is I, i'm not trying to make you guys do anything this is like I understand it's a me problem, right? I get that shit. You want to move so, out? No, I don't. That's the last thing I want to do. But I'm afraid, like, what if I get scared enough where I want to, and then, you know, well, it's then, too late. I mean, it already sounds like you are, you know, like, you don't want to wake up there. Max wakes up there, and then, you know, you don't feel comfortable, and you have to feel comfortable in your own house. I just, I want us to 
be able to support you, you know? <laughs> Don't say twink beef, that's crazy. Mm. <laughs> if I got you and everyone just, you know, took the time to reach out and check if I was fine, that meant a lot to me. Like you, Raymond, and Kitty and stuff. Yeah. It meant, it meant a lot. Well, we are used to having you around and we notice that we're like, where the hell is Timothy? He hasn't called. You know, something's up. And I just figured maybe you were, I don't know, doing some sketchy activity and then maybe thought, I, I thought honestly that it was that you were afraid of being judged before, or getting the house raided or something, you're doing some sketchy shit. And I was like, we don't care about that. So I, then I was like, maybe it's not that. Hmm, I just didn't guess this. It's really, I feel like my, my brain is going everywhere with this. And mm -hmm. I, I don't know, it feels like avoiding it feels good. It's like a temporary relief for something that's not fair, right? It's not fair to you guys and not fair to Max. Hmm. You don't have to be all right in the head. That's okay. Nobody is in the city. You know? Yeah. I would say go see a therapist and some shit, but the therapists in the city are fucked up too, so. I, I don't trust the therapists in the city. I agree. One tried to hit on me, one tried to hit on my sister. And it's fucking weird. Right, I saw one try to hit on you. Yeah, it's strange. Don't know if yeah. They got, yeah, it's, it's fucked up. Anyway. Um. Well. I'm not gonna rush you. I don't think any of us are gonna rush you. And if you wanted to move out because of you were uncomfortable, well, we could talk about that. We don't want you to. I don't think you should. But at the same time, if you don't think this is going to get better, well, then we got to tackle that. But yeah, I do think maybe sending a little message to Max or having someone at least let him know that it's nothing he's done will help for his sanity. And do you think just maybe me sending him a text message would be enough for now? And then like, yeah, could have. He's so understanding. If you just said like, hey, I can't elaborate on it right now. I just I'm thinking things through, but just know it's not anything you've done. It's something I'm working through, or something like that. And then he'll, uh, yeah, and then maybe he won't go crazy. Or you could write it in a book, a little, like a, you know, write it out on a page and drop it off for him, or have one of us pass it to him. I'll, I'll send him a text. I think it's better that way. Okay. Maybe. And, you know, I, I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry. We just miss you, Timothy. We just want what's best for you. And, you know, we miss you. That's what it is. And so I wish you would call mm -hmm. us and let us know, but I get it. I'm like the same way. I if I have shit going too. on, I don't reach out. I go I go quiet, too, and I wait for people to notice that I've, I'm also gone. So I, I deal with things similarly, so I don't fully blame you. But at the same time, I do. And I wish you would tell me. Because I'm never going to judge you, mm. and even though I do like to stir a pot, I wouldn't stir a pot when it's serious, you know? Right. And the thing is, I know you and you and him are pretty, pretty good buddies, too. Yeah, and we're that's really... That's why I was like... Yeah. I, I didn't want to really inadvertently hurt you or anything like that. No. I thought maybe you would get mad at me because of this, too, or something. I'm not mad. I'm understanding. I... I could, a little confusing to me, but at the same time, like, I just, as long as you're fair to him, you know, I just, he has no idea, so I just don't want him to go crazy, but I also don't want to, like, violate any kind of trust between us, and I would never just go blab to him, so I think you got to send the message, I'm not going to say anything, and then, uh, you know, do what's best for you. Boop. <laughs> Sorry, I screwed hey. up with my brother. Well. Boop. <laughs> Come on. Let's talk about March. Yeah. It's kind of a thing we do with my f my family. We boop each other. Boop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah he was very cool. I wish I got to talk to him more. My brother? Uh, him and Jenner was around. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what's crazy is that he shows up and then he disappears and he shows up and he disappears and he just shows up at the most chaotic times ever and then same with my sister. She's been in and out causing a shit storm of things and I don't even know anymore. But, um, yeah, they're, uh, that's kind of how we've all been. We have kind of attachment 
commitment no, issues. I had a... I had a, uh... Old, I have an older sister. You do? Actually, yeah. Oh. I mean, she's not in the city, but... Lord. Will she ever come to the city? Uh, probably not. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe one day, but... Oh. I think, like... I think, um... She was, uh, the thing is, with my parents, like, she was also someone that wasn't always around neither, right? But, mm. I don't know, you, you and Raymond kind of feel like what I would imagine having a sister would be like. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> oh my god, that's actually so cute. I... <sighs> I think I'll send him a text and tell him a little bit, like, not everything, and then when I'm ready to talk about stuff, I'll talk about it, right? Yeah, that's the best thing I could do. It is. It is the best thing, and just know we're always gonna hear you out. I'm not gonna judge you for that. You know, we all have our shit. Family is uh, kind of the hardest thing. Shit. So if it doesn't make sense to us, it's okay if it makes sense to you and it's something that bothers you um then that's okay it's your boundaries and max would understand we'll all understand if you have to move out you have to move out i don't think you should i yeah. don't want to okay not, you're not moving out great that. you're not moving out wonderful great because you're not allowed no you're allowed to sorry you're allowed to move out if you want we don't want you to and we can talk it through. I'll try. I'll try not to. Like, I, the, that's the last thing I would want. Because I really like your guys' company. You guys feel like, you know, uh, like I said, a, a pretty good family. Dysfunctional family, but... Oh, yeah, very. Okay. You too. You're dysfunctional. You're more know. dysfunctional. Okay? Sorry. Right. Right. Yeah. You're the confusing one. Sorry. But it's fine. I'm trying to figure my shit out. Good for you if you figure it out faster. Out like, no, sorry. Like, take I'm... your time. Sorry. Take your time. <laughs> <laughs> like, just for now, I'm still gonna keep my. This feels like a story mode game where I'm like, like maybe trying to make the choices more, to keep him from moving out. Figure that out because just every time, every time I'm around Max, it and just I feels like dialogue. it hurts, and I don't want that right now. I think. No, you definitely don't want that, so... I'd say just, you know, it's fine to avoid him. You know? Uh, as long as he has some semblance of an idea of why. Like, just very lightly. Because I do worry he'd get in his own head about it, or worry if he hurt you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I understand. Uh, this is the thing that fucks, up, fucks me up a lot, April, is that... I, I get into my own head a lot about this stuff too and I think about the worst case scenarios and I see every outcome in my head and I don't like that. And something with this, it's like I'm already anticipating. It, the fact that I was even thinking about moving out makes me sad because I, I saw that as an option. I didn't want that to be an option, right? No, that's okay. I almost moved out the second, the, the, the day I moved in. I won't lie, I barged out saying I'm moving the fuck out because uh, they weren't going to let Eli be part of the house and I was I was confused, but it was all a miscommunication at the end of the day. But yeah, I mean, it's okay to have those thoughts. You know, a little bit of a drama queen. That's all of us. Hmm. No one's going to judge you for that. No. Hmm. But if you do Thank move you. out, you got to let me know. You wouldn't just, you know, drop the keys off and steal our shit and leave, right? I would never <laughs> steal anything from you guys. That'd be sick. Never. Yeah, Don't I would be. do that. I won't. I won't. <laughs> you guys are good to me, and uh, I want to still be good to you, even if wherever, whatever the fuck happens, right? Down the road. In the next the house year, <laughs> two years, whatever. I just... I won't forget how kind you guys have Don't been since I've come to this city. Like you're leaving, I'm not aren't leaving. you? I'm not leaving. You're doing it. You're saying I'm you're, you're saying farewells right now. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Well, you're not? honestly, I'm I'm technically leaving for a week and a few days, but 
Oh, but like not Deb, like. I'll be back. Okay. No, no, okay. no. I'm not leaving the city. That's I fine. live here. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. You know, I'm in and out of the city all the time too. It's my commitment issues to my family, to my friends, to everything. I um, I I have troubles. So you know, I don't blame you for leaving and going and coming and you know. But while we're in the city, we're always here for you. Honestly, even out of the city. Even if I'm in a on a plane to Paris, I'll drop everything. Oh. You're a good person, April. You know that? You're a really good person. You too, Timothy. I just want you to communicate. Oh, more. I wish I could be a better person. Mm. Well, we all can't be as great as me, but we can work on it, you know? All right, yeah. <laughs> sure, sure, April. <laughs> oh. Anyways, I need food. Okay, me too. Oh, is that you trying to say? buzz off <laughs> no let's i mean you want to go to buns and get something yeah buns buns we go ride. but oh fuck we don't have a ride we don't have a ride 